Alrighty guys, with Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 coming to a close, and unfortunately there's not going to be a live event at the end of the season, I know everyone's going to be disappointed and hating in the comments, but I figured what better way to celebrate the end of the season than, you know, doing some a little bit experimental, doing, you know, some, some Fortnite content that I haven't really ever done before, which is, what does Fortnite look like in the maximum graphics? possible so obviously with fortnite chapter 4 we shifted onto the brand new unreal engine 5.1 got a ton of updated models a bunch of cool new graphics that i i personally have not turned on in a good long while so uh yeah we're gonna see how it all looks if you guys do go on to enjoy this video please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you are new youtube is telling me that this percentage of you guys have not hit the subscribe button so if you could go fix that down below it'd be greatly appreciated doesn't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out. Now before we do get into the rest of the video, one thing that you guys have absolutely been asking me for has been a setup to our video, so I figured now would be the perfect time. So obviously this we got the setup behind me right here. Uh, we're actually going to take a look at that last because there's some super cool stuff in um, the background that I want to show you guys. So obviously you guys have seen this in the background of a ton of videos, we got my little Midas figure, but we also added some other cool stuff. So this is like a little custom minifigure. Oh, please, camera, come on, focus. So this is a little custom minifigure that I made for myself uh, when I went to London. If you guys want to go check out that vlog, it'll be it'll be a, a card on screen right now, so feel free to click that. So he's super dope. And then uh, this is the box for the processor that's in my gaming PC. I don't know, I just felt like it's like, something like that's just cool to like have on display, I feel like. You know, like, bra like bragging rights type deal. And then this is a replica of Aladdin's Lamb that I bought when I I went to go see Aladdin on Broadway. So that was super cool. All right, but now it's on to the cool bit, which is my brand new setup. So you guys see down there, there's two PCs down there, as opposed to just one that I had the last time. Actually, sorry, I misspoke. As opposed to the laptop that I was running in the previous setup to our video. Again, there's a card up there if you wanna go check that one out. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we did make a ton of improvements. First things first, we still got this main monitor here. We've also added two additional monitors that are run off of my streaming PC. So this central monitor right here runs the games permanently. So that's all this monitor does, it just runs games. It then sends that feed into this computer, which is run on those two monitors right there. And this is what does all of the recording and the streaming. So obviously, so to, in order to get a little more of the boring stuff out of the way for the microphone, I'm still using a Shure SM7B, which I actually added this like cool little like yellow pop filter to kind of make it like stand out more. Uh, nothing really too much change there. Headset, still using the DT990 Pros. These are have been extremely comfortable headphones. I've had no complaints with them. I actually recommended them to just about everybody I, uh, I game with, so that's awesome. One thing you're noticing probably is I've got two mice here, each for the two computers, but I only really have one keyboard. And it's plugged in through uh, this thing because with a two PC setup, uh, I only really wanted to have one keyboard, which is, uh, I'm still using the GK61 60% keyboard, by the way. So still keeping the same keyboard from the previous setup tour. But yeah, so this thing is super cool. This, like at a push a button, lets me change which computer the keyboard controls. That way I don't need to take up nearly as much desk space as I would if I had like 7,000 keyboards running. Then down here, we've still got an Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, lets me change between all my different scenes and uh, lets me start and stop recording. It also lets me uh, mute and deafen on Discord, which is a function I really haven't seen a lot of people using. And then, you know, ring, ring light. And then uh, I've still got my camera up there. It is a Canon. Vixia HF R800, I think. I don't really know what, I don't really know. Ooh, I just hit my mic stand. I don't really know what model of camera it is, but hey, you can, can kind of see myself in there. Hey, dude. All right, but now it's time for the absolute meat and potatoes of this setup. So we've got on the left here, we've got the gaming PC and on the right here is the streaming PC. So this thing's job is just to play the games and play the games in max graphics and also kind of cry whenever I render videos. This thing's job is to just record the files, record the videos and to kind of store them until they can get put on the gaming PC. Now the streaming PC is running an Intel Core i5-11400, an RTX 3060. It's got 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte by SSD. But the real star of the show is this PC right here, which is running a Core i5-12600K 10-core CPU, an RTX 3080 GPU, which again has 32 gigs of RAM, and has a one terabyte SSD for a boot drive, which also has an additional four terabyte SSD 
for mass storage. And again, for both of you, for any of you guys who don't know, both of these PCs were custom built. I actually custom built them myself. Uh, and I, I actually, this one was the video that was the PC that I built, uh, the all white PC. And the streaming PC I built in my How to Build a Gaming PC video, both of which uh, will be linked in the description if you want to go check them out. Alrighty guys, so we're back on the main setup and now that I've got everything all recorded and ready to go, let's go change our graphic settings in three, two, one. Dang, honestly, it's, this is looking really, really clean. Uh, yeah, so this is normally not this is not normally how I play Fortnite. So let's just jump into a game and see what see what the game looks like. Alrighty, guys, here we go. And wow, look at dude, look at the dude. The clouds are actually moving. That's sick. Okay, that's actually cool. The way like I can just pan the camera and like the lens flare from the sun. That's actually insanely cool. Wait, did the jungle always used to have like? a mist over it or is that like just appeared because i turned up my graphic settings honestly loki i'm surprised i still have above 120 frames right now all right so i gotta have my wits about me because i might be on max graphics everybody else isn't oh you're done chief got butts bought galaxy skins over here that was rude Okay, take two, I'm going brutal. I'm also playing builds because I don't want to die immediately. <laughs> All right, well, I've got a shotgun. I whiffed that shot and I really shouldn't have hit all those shots. So way to go planet. Do even like the shadows on the guns is like, does Fortnite usually look this good? Or is it just me not used to the, not used to the graphics? Well, what does drinking shields look like? Dude, that's cool. There's straight up, like, water physics and stuff. I want to get out into an oh, more... <laughs> I wasn't even trying to pickaxe that guy, honestly. But he did do me some solids, and now I'm in a more open area, which is exactly what I wanted. And honestly, <laughs> I'm kind of mad because I still have above 170 frames. Surely I would I would have thought like this would have absolutely just destroyed my frame rate. But no, this PC is actually handling it. He's up there. Okay, we're ki we're we're kicking we're kicking this dude's butt. You're gonna we're gonna respectfully third party and kick the aggressor's butt. Because we gotta rightfully figure out who's the aggressor here. Oh, they're both running. Oh, headshot. I don't have the ammo for this. No, this guy just misses every shot. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. But there you guys go. Skin, just because he's wearing a skin, does not mean... Screw off. I'm doing, I'm doing that, and now I'm booking it. Yeah, see, look, I didn't say, I never said this was going to be a high kill game. I didn't even say I was going to get any kills. I just said I was going to win a game. So if you could not sh try to shoot me out of the sky, that would be greatly appreciated. Oh, there's a guy fighting the boss. We could try to third party. Yeah, honestly, I think that's what we're going to do. He was not in this box. Yep, I knew it, 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 I knew it. I knew he was waiting for me. I knew he was waiting for me to reveal myself. I'm the highest IQ'd individual ever. I'm sorry, how did that, how, explain to me someone please how that works. Big castle. Okay, now getting this gun is more important. Give me the shotgun. I oh, saw a big shield back here, give me this. All right, so now I've got insurance. He's just killing my life. Oh, and also, guys, let me know if you want me to keep... Let me know if uh, you want me to keep playing Fortnite, like, with these graphic settings. Because, uh, because, honest, because honestly, I'm surprised my PC is handling it as well as it is. Yeah, so if you guys want me to keep these settings for the new season, uh, please do let me know down below, and I will gladly keep them. Or if you want, or if you want me to go back to, uh, to normal settings. More looty. 
That was nothing I wanted. Jeez, I'm out here running around. Where's all these enemies at? I found someone. Boy, give me that. Yes, I've got the new mammoth pistol. No, you're dead, chief. You're done, chief. Oh, that's even oh, that's even cooler. The way I like. Whoa. <gasps> Friggin' sweats, man. Yeah, I could have ruined that kid earlier if he didn't sneak up on me. Alrighty, one last attempt at PXG strat. Uh, let's make it a good one. Because I don't expect anything interesting to happen, I'm gonna cut here and I'll see you guys at top 10. Top 9 situation. I've been sitting in this bush for just about half the game. I did have to move at one point, so like I'm not too upset about the thing, but I'm not gonna lie, I thought I heard someone. Okay, so now I'm definitely not rushing the island, because that PO has been claimed, and that guy probably, that guy has definitely a mythic shotgun and slurps, so that is a death wish waiting to happen. We are on the move. Yeah, well, look at that, like, all the, like, the ripples in the water. Yeah, give me those bush bombs, because I'm definitely going to need them if I don't, if I can't find a bush. <laughs> you don't see me. You don't see me. I am not here. Oh, that bush isn't in zone. <sighs> Please give me a bush that I can sit in. I mean, I will make my own if I have to, but... Ooh, 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 ooh. Honestly, the fact that that guy shot in my bush and didn't hit me is a miracle. <laughs> he hit himself. Alright, it's a top four. There's me, there's a guy in that base over there, there's this guy up top, and there's one more player that's unaccounted for. He's gonna preemptively yeet a bush. Oh yes, he's distracting me. Get out of my game. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, that's the best I'm ever gonna do, but you know what? I'm happy. I don't care. <laughs> I died to full damage. Uh, honestly, I can't even I can't even be mad at that. That's that's one of the best ways to go out. I feel like if you if if you if you die to full damage on your own, I feel like that's one of the best ways to go out. Yeah, alrighty guys. Well that's been Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. I know I absolutely could have made more videos on this, but uh yeah, laziness definitely took the better of me. So thank you guys for an awesome season. Can't wait to see you guys in season four. Thank you so much for watching. Have a day.